हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन सर्कुलर शाफ्ट सपोज वी हैव ए शाफ्ट इट हैज सर्कुलर क्रो सेक्शन एंड we have applied a torque on this shaft a torque is applied due to which there is some angle of twist in the shaft some angle of twist in the shaft right suppose from a to a dash isn't it for a given torque applied what is the shear strain energy shear strain energy stored in this shaft when we applying a torque t to this shaft when the torque is applied to the shaft what is the strain energy stored in this shaft right and what will happen what will happen if we increase the torque so within a certain limit within certain limit if we increase the torque the angle of twist will also increase you can see here you can see here that torque is increasing angle of twist is also increasing so angle of twist is basically depending on the torque higher the torque higher will be the angle of twist right so within certain limit within certain limit this t and theta are proportional to each other right and t and theta are proportional to each other right so within elastic limit within elastic limit t is basically proportional to theta right if we draw a diagram between t and theta if we draw the diagram between t torque and the angle of twist theta we will get a straight line up to certain point and then there will be a variation in the curve right so we are talking about within elastic limit within elastic limit this will be the variation of t and theta curve this is not 45 degree angle there may be certain another angle but this is a straight line right and this what is this then what is this what is this area under the curve this area under the curve is basically the energy stored in this shaft this area under the curve is the energy stored in this shaft so this is the energy stored in this shaft area under t theta curve so what is u basically strain energy stored in shaft strain energy stored in shaft that is u will be equal to area under t theta curve t theta curve right so what is area of this triangle what is the area of this triangle when this is suppose t this is t at a certain torque applied maximum torque this is applied and th this is theta we are taking theta in this direction and suppose this is theta at a certain deflection at a certain deflection this is the torque applied and this is the angle of twist we have obtained so what will be the energy stored that will be the area of this triangle so this will be half base multiplied by height so half t theta so this is the strain energy stored in the material half t theta and what is theta what is theta you know that theta is given by theta is given by tl upon gj this you must remember so we can put here the strain energy stored will be equal to half t multiplied by tl by gj so this will give us the strain energy as t square l upon 2 gj 2 gj 
So this is the strain energy stored in the material. When a torque T is applied and the angle of twist is theta within the elastic limit. The strain energy stored in the material is T square L upon 2 G J. So this is the strain energy stored in this material. But sometimes we need the strain energy stored in terms of shear stresses. What is the strain energy stored in, the, in terms of shear stress? For that we should know the relation between torque and shear stress. What is relation between torque and shear stress? For that we should know the relation between torque and shear stress. So what is the relation between torque and shear stress? So remember the formula T by J equal to tau by R equal to G theta upon L. T by J tau by R G theta upon L and we are talking about this is the suppose maximum torque applied and the angle of twist so we can take the tau max we can take or you, you can take the outer radius right, right? outer uh, shear stress and outer radius can be taken because this ratio is constant right so from here t can be written as t can be written as tau j upon r we are taking the outer radius and the shear stress at outer radius right so this is the this is the this tau will be now the maximum shear stress because we are taking at outer radius right r is replaced with capital r tau will be replaced with tau max now right so tau j by r this is the torque this is the torque in terms of shear stress now put in one suppose this is equation number one so put in one the value of torque what you get so u will be equal to T square, T square means tau square, tau square, J square, L by 2, 2 R square, because there is T square, so tau square, J square, R square, G and then J, right, so this equation will come out, is it okay? Here, tau square will come uh, as remain as it is, j to j cancel and there is an, another term r square, we can convert into d square, right. So we can write here, tau square multiplied by j and what is j? j is pi by 32, d to the power 4, suppose this is d, d to the power 4, l upon, upon 2 r is d by 2 so we can write d square by 4 g and j is cancelled out from the this j right so we will get here again we will get what we will get right here there will be a term d square and we will tau square by this will be uh, 2 2 2 2 ja 4 and then 16 so we will write here tau square by 4g multiplied by pi by 4 d square into l this term we will get tau square upon 4g multiplied by pi by 4 d square into l and is what is the volume of the shaft what is the volume of the shaft what is the volume of the shaft this is the volume of the shaft pi by 4 d square into l this is the volume of the shaft basically right so volume of the shaft is volume of shaft volume of the shaft I am writing here that will be equal to pi by 4 d square multiplied by the length length is given to us that is L and dia is given to us is capital D length is L dia is capital D pi by 4 d square L so this is the volume of the shaft put here the volume of the shaft so strain energy stored in the material will be equal to tau square by 4g multiplied by the volume of the shaft so this is the equation this is the equation for strain energy of the material in terms of shear stresses so if you if it is given that shear stresses are given use this equation the strain energy stored in the shaft tau square by 4g multiplied by v and if torque is given 
then use this equation that u is equal to t square l upon 2 gj. So, both the equation should be remembered, right. And there is another term, this is strain energy, total strain energy, the unit will be joules. We want strain energy density, strain energy density. So, what is that strain energy density? Strain energy density. This is basically strain energy per unit volume. So, this is u that is equal to strain energy per unit volume. For a unit volume, how what is the energy stored in the material for a given volume per unit volume, right? This is similar to mass density that is mass per unit volume. So, this is the total energy per unit volume, right? And here the volume will come to the denominator, you will get the, this strain energy density will be equal to tau square upon 4g. This formula should also be remembered for strain energy density. So, we have basically three formulas for this. One is the total strain energy in terms of torque T square L upon 2 gj, this should be remembered. Another is total strain energy in terms of shear stress, tau square upon 4g multiplied by volume. And third is strain energy density, which is strain energy per unit volume. Volume will come down uh, denominator. So, this will be tau square upon 4g, right. So, this is the strain energy stored in the shaft.